Easy, James here. Uh, now, this is not the original intro for this video. Uh, I did this one a while back, it's been quite a while in the making this video, and I've made a few changes and the original intro won't make sense, so I've had to just quickly add this one in, so I apologise for that. But you all know what the video is about, look at the title, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Um, but back then I did need a haircut, okay, so cue up the weird looking guy with the long hair. I'm going to show you how to fix the little uh, pop-up target light on the front of your Technics turntable. Now, the thing is with that, uh, it's a pain in the ass because you're going to change it and if you change it, not only are the bulbs quite expensive for what they are, it is just going to go again. So I'm going to show you another way you can do it, okay. Hopefully this, you'll agree with me that this is a better way of doing it and also it's a little bit cheaper, okay. So first of all, let me show you something. We all know what this is, it's the little light that pops up, yes, thankfully mine is still working and they're a bit of a pain in the ass because you have to keep replacing them. Um, what I'm suggesting is that you do this. Yes, you replace it with an LED, which you can see is a lot brighter and it's more in line with the end of the needle and it's got a slightly wider uh, light angle. But now one thing with LEDs, okay, people seem to think is a big con with LEDs, right, as opposed to a pro. Um, you can, like for example with the LEDs you get in your lights in your house, okay, they, they uh, save you on your electric bill because they don't drain so much energy, okay, they don't get hot which means they're more efficient, again, better energy costs, and you don't have to replace them very often because they can last up to 10 times longer than a standard bulb. So altogether, that's great news, but the bulbs are more expensive to start with, so because the, the cost initially is more, people seem to think be put off and think it's a bit of a con. Actually, no. In this case, all right, because the bulbs for those ones, the replacement bulbs, are actually quite expensive, it actually works out cheaper to replace and upgrade to LED. Okay? You could upgrade both of your turntables to an LED target light, for just less than a fiver, okay? That's about eight dollars US, okay? As opposed to the original cost of the bulbs, now the bulbs themselves cost about five to six quid, that's per deck, okay? So let's say they cost six quid, worst case scenario, that's twelve quid to replace the bulbs in both turntables, as opposed to a fiver to upgrade them to an LED. Right, so basically, to replace it to an LED sounds really complicated, but actually it's quite simple. The most complicated part is actually getting the parts full stop. I mean, the parts you need, obviously you're going to need an LED. You're going to need a voltage regulator as well, okay? Now, on the circuit board, the output that goes to the little bulb in there, okay, outputs about 20 volts, right? Now, the only problem is, not only is that quite high for an LED, but also, um, it's not consistent, okay? That one is 20 volts, whereas the one on that turntable is actually 22 volts. The two 1210s I've got in the loft, one of them's 24 and the other one's 23, okay? I've seen them as high as 25. So because there's no flat, you know, flat rate, because they're all slightly inconsistent, I can't recommend a resistor value to get to power an LED. So the best thing to do is use a voltage regulator, okay? One of those will take anything from 35 volts to 7 volts and it will flatline it at 5 volts. It will regulate the power to 5 volts flat. That is what you need, okay? Then you use a smaller resistor to bring it down to the voltage of your LED. So, obviously your LED is going to have to be under 5 volts, all right? Now, if you didn't understand any of that, don't panic because I will help you out with this, seriously. It's easier than it looks, all right? So first of all, I'm just gonna go through the parts, what parts you need and where you can get them from. Right, okay, now this is the uh, voltage regulator itself, okay? And the part number for that is there, here. <laughs> it's uh, TS78M05CZ, okay? Uh, I'll put that in the description, okay? Along with a link for where you can get it from, okay? Now, the best place, if you're in the UK, to get that from, okay, is this place. Maplin, okay. The reason being is because I spoke to the guy in there, and he said that he assures me that there's very reliable stock levels of these things, okay. And also, if you look, they're dirt cheap, okay. Now that price is likely to change, all right, but it'll only change by a few pence, okay. So either way, they're going to be under a quid, all right. 
Well, okay, now if you haven't got a Maplins near you, okay, another place you can get these things from is uh, Radio Shack, okay, if you've got one of those near you. Now, the one you're looking for in Radio Shack is a uh, plus 5 volt fixed voltage regulator. It's the uh, ML780 uh, 5A, okay. Um, this one will do just the same thing. It's not the same one as I showed you a minute ago, but it's an equivalent to it, okay. Uh, maximum input voltage 35 volts. Uh, it's the case style is a TO220, okay. That is really important. You've got to make sure it's a TO220, okay. It will um, specify and say whether it is that or not, but that's the one you're looking for, okay. Um, also, another place you can get them from is eBay, okay. If you have a look on eBay, there's quite a few of them on here. Uh, 5 volt voltage regulator, TO220. Uh, these things are only like 99p. Um, there's another one, another one, there's a lot of them, some of them selling like packs of four look for a pound. So um, another place you can get these from again is eBay, okay, also Amazon, places like that. Pretty much any voltage regulator will do as long as, okay, it's plus five volts, okay, it's got to be a positive fixed voltage regulator, not a negative, okay. And as long as it's uh, a TO220 style package, all right and it can cope with at least 35 volts input. Okay, if it complies with all of those, fine, you can use it. Okay, but the best ones to go for are the ones I've just shown you here. Okay, either this one or the uh, the other one, the TS78M00 series one. Right, now with the LEDs, okay, you've got a little bit more freedom um, as to what you want to get, okay. Um, just for reference, this is the ones I got, okay, uh, from Maplins. Now, there's a couple of things, okay, this has to comply with. First of all, it has to be a 3 millimeter LED, okay? It has to be 3 mil, not a 5 mil, otherwise it won't fit, okay? So make sure you get a 3 mil or smaller, okay? Uh, also as well, the forward voltage or the voltage that it runs at must be under 5 volts, okay? This one's 3.2, maximum is 3.6, okay? That's great. If you can get around that voltage, fine, that's, that's perfect, okay? Um, but don't get it over 5 volts, otherwise it will not work. You'll just burn the regulator out. Okay, um, right. Now, this one here is, like I say, is the one I got. It's just a white LED. Now, they do this one in a range of colors. You've got like red, blue, amber, ultraviolet, you name it, okay. Um, they're 179 Now, they're a bit expensive, but these ones are really rock solid. They're proper high quality ones. I've brought these ones in the past and I've been buying these for ages and they've been absolutely perfect, okay? They're fantastic. So if you can afford to fork out a little bit on two of these things, pay this money for these two. Um, now, just for reference as well, these are 3000 MCD or 5000, okay? That's the light intensity. That's how bright they are. Uh, just for reference, the one I got is the 3000 MCD, okay, and as you can see, that's really bright. Right, okay, now, another place you can get these from, again, good old eBay, all right? There's a load of uh, people, companies, selling these things on eBay, some of them selling them for bulk prices, okay? 3 mil white LED, 5000 MCD, 99p for 20, okay? that's a pretty good price for 20 LEDs. I can't guarantee it's, these things are going to be as good a quality as the uh, these ones, but nonetheless, for that price, why would you care? All right. So just go through, find it, as long as it's 3 mil and under 5 volts, you will be fine. Okay, so once you've done that, you now need to find um, a resistor, okay? Because your LED is going to be under 5 volts and your voltage reg is going to be supplying 5 volts. Okay, so you need something to make up the difference. All right. So head over to this website here. Okay, I'll put the link in the description. Okay. Now, what you need to do is find out um, the specs for your LED. All right. So you need to find out the voltage which it runs at, 3.2 volts, and you need to find out the current what it runs at. Okay, this is 30 milliamps. All right. So what you do is here, you type in your source voltage, for us that's 5 volts, your diode forward voltage which is uh, 3.2 volts, and the current which is 30 milliamps. And you click here, find resistor, and it's calculated, it says here the wizard recommends uh, an 8 watt or greater 68 ohm resistor. Okay, tells you the colour code for it, just go in a shop, ask for one of those, 
they're pretty basic you'll find them in every electronic store going all right I will help you if you need help with any of this bit. It's fairly straightforward, but if you've got a bit of a funny question to ask or you think you don't understand it properly, do not hesitate to send me a comment or a message and ask, okay?